Hi, this is Bassam. Today I'm at Amar to check their uh, new launch in Dubai Hills Estate, uh, Elevira, a building with direct view on the uh, park. What's special about Dubai Hills Estate? Uh, for investment, Dubai Hills Estate uh, is generating around 7% uh, annual returns for the investors in Dubai Hills Estate, and this is as per Dubai Land Department. Uh, also, it's a friendly or, or family-friendly community uh, in the center of Dubai. This is Dubai Hills Estate, where we are 15 minutes away from uh, downtown on this Al Khair Road and 20 minutes away from uh, Dubai Airport. And this is Umm Skaim Road, 15 minutes away from uh, Dubai Marina. And as you can see, the area is divided into two parts. The first part is the golf course from this side. And from this side, we have the mall, the business area where we have uh, offices here and they are active buildings and we have also offices here uh, as I mentioned before we have the mall and also it's active we have one school here two schools located there and also we have uh, the hospital so th uh, this part where we have the park it's a very huge park 180,000 square meter of amenities and green areas that will serve the community. Also, what's good about this park, that the view from this buildings, where they are located beside the park, have a very nice view. And over this side, we have the Sidra Maple Villas. And here also on the golf course, we have uh, the mansions, which they are located in the center of the golf course. Here, there's the new two buildings that will launch from Amar, Elevera, which they are located directly on the park from this side and on the boulevard from this side close to the uh, offices here just a walking distance and also close to the mall and they have a direct access on the park and they have a u-shape as you can see to maximize the view on the park for all the uh, apartments and now we will talk more about the apartments and how they are in the building uh, also, there is beside us the Acacia and the executive residences, which they are ready and they are handing over. Also on the other side, we have the Mulberry uh, apartments. A closer look on the building where we, it's a U-shaped building and the view from this side towards the park and the view from the other side towards the boulevard. And here we have the amenities in the building, infinity pool, uh, covered kids play, uh, swimming pool, also a barbecue area and kids playing area and this is uh, this uh, level is elevated above the park so the view from here is uh, on the park also the u-shape will maximize the view of most of the apartments that they are located in uh, this uh, on this side because here we have the three uh, bedrooms which uh, they are duplex and three bedroom uh, townhouses with direct access on the park they are so limited, only six units are available in each building. Let's talk more about the apartments where the one bedrooms are located on this side of the building, also on the other side. So here we have the uh, more one bedrooms. The two bedrooms, they are located on the boulevard with a boulevard view. So they are located here. Also the view from this side, you will see on not only the boulevard, you will see the boulevard and towards this side you can see Burj Khalifa, we are just 15 minutes away. It's not 100% clear, but you will see it. The three, uh, that, uh, also the three bedrooms, they are located on the corners and here we have a limited number of units which they are duplex uh, apartments and they will have a perfect view on the park. And we have uh, the limited, as I said before, limited number of units, six bedroom townhouses, which they have also uh, park access. There are one, uh, one bedrooms also located inside who are looking for a one bedroom with a very good view. And two bedroom here's also in this side. 
Moving on the prices, uh, sizes, and payment plan, also I will talk a bit about the rentals that it's running in Dubai, uh, Dubai Hills Estate. Uh, 700 uh, square foot is the one bedroom, and the starting price is 1.290, 1,290,000. For the two bedrooms, uh, the sizes will start from 1,063 square foot, and the prices will start from 1,910,000 dirhams. The three bedroom, they have different layouts because of the balconies. So the starting uh, sizes will be 1,500 to 3,400. And the prices will start from 2,990,000. Uh, the three bedroom townhouses, which is the very limited, and who's interested in such townhouses, he have to contact me immediately. Uh, in order to guarantee uh, a unit here it, uh, and such investment it will be great uh, as a returns because the view from this uh, townhouses is amazing uh, <clears throat> also they are limited like there are only six units in each building so total they are 12 uh, and in other buildings also they are limited uh, and such uh, townhouses will generate a uh, good returns uh, so they are uh, 2395 square foot uh, the Prices will be 4.8 million. Also, they are good in the price. The duplex, uh, 2,500 uh, square foot, which they are also limited. Not uh, not much are available of uh, three bedroom duplexes, duplexes, which they are here and here. And they start from 4 million 440,000. The payment plan is linked with the construction. So we have an 80-20 payment plan, 80% during construction and 20% on handover, which is expected to be December 2026. And we can talk a bit about the rentals that's going on in Dubai Hills Estate. Uh, the one bedroom is in average, it's renting uh, 115,000 dirhams. The two bedroom, it's renting between 180,000 to 220,000. And the three bedroom is renting for 250,000. Also, I would like to add that this area is getting uh, good returns in the holiday homes, especially for families, because families, they like to live in such area where, uh, where everything is around them, the schools, malls and uh, hospitals and also the green community, which is like in the park and the golf course. Uh, now I will share with you some of the pictures uh, in the community in order to see more about this community. At the end, if you are interested in this project or any of Dubai projects, you can contact me, Bassam.